glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attendant to my righteousness, O Lord, give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold our brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited me in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy path, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God. Incline thine ear to me, hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings, from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves in their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seized me like a lion ready for his prey, and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few separate them from the earth in their life. And their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, and the remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me, for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for you shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they have hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. 
Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom as thou may known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his up, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with hope and offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope and offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord is my foundation, and my refuge, and my deliverer. My God is my helper, and Him will I hope, my defender, and the horn of salvation, and my protector. I will call upon the Lord in praise, and I shall be saved from mine enemies. The pangs of death surrounded me, and torrents of iniquity troubled me. The pangs of hell encompassed me, and snares of death overtook me. And in my affliction I called upon the Lord, and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of His holy temple, and my cry shall come before Him unto His ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, and the fountains, the foundations of the mountains were troubled and shaken, because God was wroth with them. There went up smoke in his wrath, and fire flamed from his face. Coals were kindled by it, then he bowed the heavens, and came down, and dark, thick darkness was under his feet. And he mounted upon the cherubim, and flew, and flew upon the wings of the winds. And he made darkness his secret place, his tabernacle round about him, and his dark water and the clouds of the air from the brightness before him shot forth clouds, hailstones, and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered from heaven, the Most High gave forth his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, and multiplied lightnings, and greatly, greatly troubled them. And the well springs of waters appeared, and foundations of the world were uncovered at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of thy breath from thy wrath. He sent from on high and took me and drew me out of many waters. He will deliver me from my strong enemies and from those that hate me, for they are stronger than I. They overtook me in the day of mine affliction, but the Lord was my stay. And he led me out into a wide place. He will deliver me because he delighted in me, and the Lord will recompense me according to my righteousness. Yea, according to the cleanness of my hands shall he recompense me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and his statutes departed not from me. And I shall be blameless with him, and I shall keep, and shall keep myself from mine iniquity. And the Lord shall recompense me according to my righteousness, yea, according to the cleanness of my hands before his eyes. With the holy thou shalt be holy, with the innocent man thou shalt be innocent, with the elect thou shalt be elect, and with the crooked thou shalt be crooked. For thou wilt save a humble people, and will humble the eyes of the proud. For thou wilt light my lamp, O Lord my God, thou wilt enlighten my darkness. For by thee shall I be delivered from a band of thieves, and by my God I shall leap over a wall. As for my God, his way is blameless, and the words of the Lord are tried by fire. He is a defender of all that hope in him. For who is God save the Lord, and who is God save our God? It is God who girds me with strength and has made my way blameless. He makes my feet like the feet of a heart and sets me upon the heights. He teaches my hands for war, and thou hast made mine, eye, mine arms a bow of brass. And thou hast given me the shield of salvation, and thy right hand has upheld me, and thine instruction had guided me aright in the last. Yea, thine instruction itself shall teach me. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, and my feet did not grow weak. I will pursue mine enemies and overtake them, and I will not turn back until they perish. I will break them, and they shall not be able to stand. They shall fall under my feet. Yea, thou hast girded me with strength for war. Thou hast subdued under me all those that rose up against me. Thou hast also made mine enemies turn their backs before me. Thou hast utterly destroyed those that hated me. They cried, and there was none to save them. Yea, unto the Lord, but he heard them not. And I will winnow them as chaff in the face of the wind, and I will trample them down like dirt in the streets. Deliver me from the strife of the people. Thou shalt make me the head of nations. As a people whom I knew not have served me, as soon as they heard, they obeyed me. Sons of strangers lied unto me. Sons of strangers have grown old and limped away from their paths. 
The Lord lives, and blessed be my God, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. O God, that avengest me, and hast subdued the peoples under me, my deliverer from wrathful enemies, thou shalt lift me up from those that rise up against me, and thou shalt deliver me from the unrighteous man. Therefore will I confess thee, O Lord, among the Gentiles, and sing praises unto thy name. He magnifies the salvation of the King, and shows mercy to his Christ, to David and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. unto ages of ages. Amen. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night proclaims knowledge. There are no tongues nor words where their voices are not heard. Their proclamation has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the universe. He has set his tabernacle in the sun, and he is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. He shall rejoice like a giant to run his course. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and his circuit is unto the end of heaven, and no one will be hidden from his heat. The law of the Lord is blameless, converting souls. The testimony of the Lord is faithful, giving wisdom to children. The statutes of the Lord are upright, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is bright, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever and ever. The judgments of the Lord are true, altogether justified, more to be desired than gold and much precious stone, sweeter than honey from the honeycomb. Yea, for thy servant keeps them, and keeping them there is great reward. As for transgressions, who will understand them? Cleanse thou me from my secret sins, and from strangers spare thy servant. If they gain not dominion over me, then I shall be blameless, and I shall be cleansed from great sin. And the sayings of my mouth and the meditation of my heart shall always be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my helper and my redeemer. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and aid thee out of Zion. May he remember all thy sacrifice and fatten thy whole burnt offering. May the Lord grant thee according to thy heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We shall rejoice in thy salvation and the name of our God shall be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now will I have known that the Lord has saved his Christ. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is wrought in mighty acts. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we call on the name of the Lord. They are overthrown and fallen, but we are risen and set upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day when we call upon thee. The king shall be glad in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation shall he greatly rejoice. Thou hast granted him his heart's desire and hast not denied him the request of his lips. For thou hast gone before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt make him glad with joy by thy countenance. For the king hopes in the Lord, and the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven at the time of thy presence. The Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the sons of men, for they intended evils against thee, and they devised counsels which they cannot establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back, and their remnant thou shalt prepare their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, my strength. We shall sing and praise thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, my God, attend unto me. Why hast thou forsaken me? Far from my salvation are the words of my transgressions. O my God, I shall cry by day, and thou wilt not hear, and by night, and it shall not be folly for me. But thou dwellest in the sanctuary, O thou praise of Israel. Our fathers hoped in thee, they hoped, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were saved. They hoped in thee, and were not put to shame. But as for me, I am a worm, and no man, the reproach of men, and despised by the people. And they that saw me laughed me to scorn. They spoke with their lips, and they shook their heads, saying, He hoped on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him save him, for he desires him. For thou art he that drew me out of the womb, my hope from my mother's breasts. 
I was cast upon thee from the womb, from my mother's womb, thou art my God. O depart not from me, for affliction is near, and there is none to help. Many calves have encompassed me, fat bulls have surrounded me. They opened their mouth against me like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are scattered. My heart became like wax, melting in the midst of my belly. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt, my tongue is stuck to my throat. Thou hast brought me down to the dust of death, for many dogs have encompassed me. The assembly of the wicked surrounded me, they pierced my hands and my feet, they numbered all my bones, and they looked and stared upon me. They divide my garments among them, for my raiment they cast lots. But thou, O Lord, remove not my help far from me, attend unto mine aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, yea, my only begotten, from the hand of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, and my lowliness from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy name unto my brethren, in the midst of the church will I hymn thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye of the seed of Jacob, glorify him. Let all the seed of Israel fear him, for he has not despised, nor scorned the supplication of the poor man, nor turned away his face from me. And when I cried unto him, he heard me, from thee is my praise, in the great church will I confess thee. I will pay my vows before those that fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied, and they that seek the Lord shall praise him. Their hearts shall live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindred of nations shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he has dominion over the nations. And all they that be fat on the earth have eaten and worshipped. And they that go down to the earth shall fall down before him. My soul also lives for him, and my seed shall serve him. The generation that is coming shall be declared to the Lord, and they shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born, whom the Lord has made. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He has made me to dwell in a place of green pasture. He has nourished me beside the water of rest and restored my soul. He has guided me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of those that afflict me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and thy cup is strong as with the finest wine. Thy mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and my dwelling shall be in the house of the Lord under length of days. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell therein. He has founded it upon the seas, and prepared it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend unto the mountain of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has innocent in hands and pure in heart, who has not received his soul in vain, nor sworn deceitfully to his neighbor. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and mercy from God his Savior. This is the generation of those that seek the Lord, of those that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, be lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, it is sent down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles of the third hour. Take him now from us, O good one, Marie, do him and us <coughs> pray unto thee. O Lord, it is sent down thy most holy spirit upon thine apostles at the third hour. So good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who thy most holy spirit upon thy apostles at the third hour. Take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who descend on thy most holy spirit, upon thine apostles at the third hour, take him not from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine, who has budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with the holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Blessed art thou, o Christ our God, who hast revealed the fishermen as most wise by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit. Through them thou didst draw the world into thy net. O lover of man, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant swift and sure encouragement, O Jesus, to thy servants, when our spirit is cast down within us. Leave not our souls in affliction. Be not far from our minds in time of trouble, but always come quickly to our help. Draw near to us, draw near, for thou art everywhere. As thou wast ever with thine apostles, so in thy compassion unite thyself to those who love thee, so that with one accord we may praise and glorify thy Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O pure Theotokos, thou art the hope and protection and refuge of Christians, an invincible rampart and a safe haven for the storm-tossed. Thou dost save the world by thine unceasing intercession. Remember us also, O Virgin, worthy of all praise. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplication to direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels, that guided and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity, the faith, and to the knowledge of the unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. True fail, Tokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. In the prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on all. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. Give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother. For blessed are thou unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, thou only begotten Son, and thou, O Holy Spirit, one God had one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments known to thee, save me, that unworthy servant. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down for Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down for Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them. Behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. 
I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and my eyes look down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of my enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath they were indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then I would fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that thou should save me. From faint hardness and tempest, drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go around about their, her own walls. And iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her. And usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it. And if one who hated me spoke evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, O man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them and let them go down alive into hell. For wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God, and the Lord heard me, evening and morning and at noon, and I will recount and declare it, and he will shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace, and from them that draw near to me, for they were with me in great numbers, and God shall hear and shall humble them. He exists before the ages, for there is no change with them, because they that have not feared God, he has stretched forth his hands in re for retribution. They have profaned his covenant, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, O God, shalt bring them down out of the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half of their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him, for he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from the troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh to thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For, Lord, thou art my hope. Thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and the basilic, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days I will satisfy him and show my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me by thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art my God and my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and mine ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen, 
His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied and they hated me with unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine innocence, and hoping in the Lord I shall not grow weak. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy mercy is before mine eyes, and I was well pleasing in thy truth. I have not sat with the counsel of vanity, neither will I go in with transgressors. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit among the ungodly. I will wash my hands in innocence, and go about thine altar, O Lord, that I may hear the voice of praise, and tell of all thy wondrous works. O Lord, I have loved the beauty of thy house, and the place where thy glory dwells. Destroy not my soul with the ungodly, nor my life with men of blood, in whose hands are iniquities. Their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I have walked in mine innocence. Redeem me and have mercy on me. My foot has stood in uprightness. In the churches will I bless thee, O Lord. The Lord is my light and my savior. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When evildoers drew nigh against me to eat up my flesh, that they that afflict me and are my enemies, they grew feeble and fell. Though an army be arrayed against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this I have hoped. One thing have I asked of the Lord, this will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the delights of the Lord and to visit his holy temple. For in the day of my troubles he hid me in his tabernacle, he sheltered me in the secret place of his tabernacle, he exalted me upon a rock. And now behold, he has exalted my head above my enemies. I went round and offered in his tabernacle the sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make melody unto the Lord. Hearken, O Lord, to my voice, wherewith I have cried out, have mercy on me and hear me. My heart said unto thee, I have sought thy face. Turn thy thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Turn not thy face away from me. Turn not away from the servant in thy wrath. Be thou my helper, abandon me not, neither forsake me, O God, my Savior. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord has taken me to himself. Set me a law, O Lord, in thy way, and guide me in a right path because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the souls of them that afflict me, for unjust witnesses have risen up against me, and injustice has lied to herself. I believed that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and let thy heart be strengthened, and wait on the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, O my God, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I pray unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy temple. Draw not my soul away with sinners, and destroy me not with the workers of unrighteousness, who speak peace with their neighbors, but evils are in their hearts. Give to them, O Lord, according to their works, and according to the wickedness of their ways. Give to them according to the works of their hands. Render to them their reward. Because they regarded not the works of the Lord and the works of his hands, thou shalt destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my helper and defender. My heart has hoped in him, and I am helped. My flesh has flourished again, and willingly shall I praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people and the protector of the salvation of his Christ. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Tend them also as a shepherd and lift them up forever. Bring unto the Lord, O ye sons of God, bring unto the Lord the sons of rams. Bring unto the Lord glory and honor. Bring unto the Lord the glory, do his name. Worship the Lord in his holy court. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory has thundered. The Lord is upon many waters. 
the voice of the Lord in might, the voice of the Lord in majesty, the voice of the Lord breaking the cedars. Yea, the Lord will break the cedars of Lebanon, and he will break them small like a calf of Lebanon, and his beloved is like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divides the flame of fire, the voice of the Lord shaking the wilderness. Yea, the Lord will shake the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord strengthens the stags and will uncover the fortresses. And in his temple, everyone speaks of his glory. The Lord will dwell upon, upon the flood. Yea, the Lord will sit as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from hell. Thou hast saved me from them that go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For wrath is in his anger, but life is in his will. Weeping shall lodge for an evening, but joy comes in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Thou, O Lord, in thy good pleasure didst grant power to, thy, to my beauty, but thou didst turn thy face away, and I was troubled. I will cry unto thee, O Lord, and unto my God will I make my supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to corruption? Shall the dust praise thee, or shall it declare thy truth? The Lord heard and had mercy upon me. The Lord has become my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into joy. Thou hast rent my sackcloth and girded me with gladness, that my glory may sing praises to thee, and that I may not be pierced with sorrow. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. In thee, O Lord, have I hoped. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness and rescue me. Bow down thine ear to me. Make haste to rescue me. Be thou unto me a God to protect me and a house of refuge to save me. For thou art my strength and my refuge, and for thy name's sake wilt thou guide me and nourish me. Thou wilt bring out me out of this snare which they have hid for me. For thou art my defender, O Lord. Into thy hands will I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Thou hast hated them that observe empty vanities, but as for me I have hoped in the Lord. I shall rejoice and be glad in thy mercy, for thou hast looked upon my low estate. Thou hast saved my soul out of necessities, and hast not shut me up into the hands of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a spacious place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am afflicted. Mine eye is troubled with anger, yea, my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength has grown weak in poverty, and my bones are troubled. I became a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintances, they that saw me without fled from me. I am forgotten by the heart like a dead man, I am become like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many that dwell round about. When they gathered together against me, they took counsel to take away my life. But as for me, I hoped in thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my God. My lots are in thy hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me in thy mercy. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be ashamed and be brought down into hell. Let the deceitful lips be speechless, which speak iniquity with pride and contempt against the righteous. O how great is the abundance of thy goodness, O Lord, which thou hast hidden from them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that hope in thee. In the sight of the sons of men, thou shalt hide them in the secret place of thy presence from the disturbance of men. Thou shalt shelter them in the tabernacle from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown his marvelous mercy in a strong city. But as for me, I said in mine ecstasy, I am cast out of the sight of thine eyes. Therefore thou hast heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. O love the Lord, all ye saints, for the Lord requires truth and requi requites them that act with exceeding pride. Be of good courage and let your heart be strengthened, all ye that hope in the Lord. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. 
Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputes no sin, and in whose mouth there is no guile. Because I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. I was turned into misery while the thorn stuck fast in me. I acknowledged my sin, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess mine iniquity unto the Lord against myself, and thou forgavest the ungodliness of my heart. For this shall every one that is holy pray unto thee in due season, but in a flood of many waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my refuge from the affliction that surrounds me. O my joy, redeem me from them that have encompassed me. I will instruct thee and teach thee in this way which thou shalt go. I will fix mine eyes upon thee. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding, whose jaws thou must hold with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many are the scourges of the sinner, but mercy shall encompass him that hopes in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O ye righteous, and glory all ye that are upright in heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now on the sixth day, and now it is nailed to the cross of sin that Adam dared to commit in paradise. Tear up the record of our trespasses, O Christ our God, and save us. O thou who on the sixth day and hour is nailed to the cross, the sin that Adam dared to commit in paradise, tear up the record of our trespasses, O Christ our God, and save us. Hear my prayer, O God, and despise not my petition. to commit in paradise. Tear up the record of our trespasses, O Christ our God, and save us. As for me, I called upon God, and the Lord heard me. O Thou, who on the sixth day and hour is nailed to the cross, the sin that Adam dared to commit in paradise. Tear up the record of our trespasses, O Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now, fullness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee. For much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master unto kind heartedness. Despise not the supplications of, of us sinners. O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who conde- condescended to suffer for us. The Trifarian of the Prophecy in the Fourth Tone. O Lord, who lovest mankind, Thou knowest our created nature, Thou knowest our infirmity. Though we have sinned, yet have not forsaken Thee, O God, nor stretched out our hands to a strange God. O merciful Savior, spare us in Thy love. The Perkimenon of the Prophecy in the Fourth Tone. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Saith the Lord, out of Zion shall go forth the Lord, and the word of the Lord out of Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into sickles, and nations shall not take up sword against nation, neither shall they learn to war any more. And now, O house of Jacob, come and let us walk in the light of the Lord, for he has forsaken his people, the house of Israel, because their land is filled as at the beginning with divinations as the land of the Philistines, and many strange children were born to them.
for their land is filled with silver and gold, and there was no number of their treasures. Their land also is filled with horses, and there was no number of their chariots. And the land is filled with abominations, even the works of their hands, and they have worshipped the works which their fingers made. And the mean man bowed down, and the great man was humbled, and I will not pardon them. Now therefore enter ye into the rocks, and hide yourselves in the earth, for fear of the Lord, and by reason of the glory of his might, when he shall arise to strike terribly the earth. For the eyes of the Lord are high, but man is low, and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Sixth stone. The Lord is righteous and has loved righteousness. His face has beheld uprightness. The Lord is righteous and has loved righteousness. His face has beheld uprightness. In the Lord have I put my trust. How will you say to my soul, Flee as a sparrow to the mountains? The Lord is righteous and has loved righteousness. His face has beheld uprightness. The Lord is righteous and has loved righteousness. His face has beheld uprightness. Lord, for we become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Thou, O Christ our God, hast worked salvation in the midst of the earth. Thou hast stretched out thy most pure hands upon the cross, gathering together all nations who cry out, O Lord, glory to thee, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We venerate thy most pure image, O good one, and ask forgiveness of our transgressions. O Christ our God, of thy good will, thou wast pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh to deliver thy creatures from the bondage of the enemy. Therefore, we thankfulness, therefore with thankful, thankfulness we cry aloud to thee. Thou hast filled all with joy, O our Savior, for thou didst come to save the world, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious art thou, O Virgin Theotokos, we sing thy praises, for through the cross of thy Son hell was laid low and put to death. We who were dead have risen and been granted life, receiving the joy of paradise that was ours at the beginning. Therefore, with thanksgiving, we glorify Christ our God, for he is strong and alone rich in mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven on earth art worshiped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who loves the just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who calls all to salvation to the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guide and guard by their hosts. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word, true Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. With the prayers of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on all. Amen. O Lord, Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. 
Give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk, but give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts, the author of all creation, made thine ineffable and tender mercy, has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, and deliver us from the dark and deadly transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies that seek to do harm to us. Nail down our flesh with fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee, the eternal light, that no man can approach thee. We may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving to thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. How beloved are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul, my soul longs and faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh have rejoiced in the living God. Yea, the sparrow has found herself a house, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will praise thee forever and ever. Blessed is the man whose help is from thee. He has sent a sense in his heart, in the veil of tears, in the place which he has appointed. For there the lawgiver will grant blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. The Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our defender, and look upon the face of thy Christ. For one day in thy courts is better than thousands elsewhere. I would rather be an outcast in the house of God than dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord loves mercy and truth. God shall give grace and glory. The Lord will not withhold good things from them that walk in innocence. O Lord God of hosts, blessed is the man that hopes in thee. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast caused all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the face. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. Restore us, O God, of our salvation, and turn thine anger away from us. Wilt thou be wroth with us forever? And wilt thou stretch out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn us back and give us life, and thy people shall rejoice in thee. Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he shall speak peace to his people and to his saints and to them that turn their heart toward him. But his salvation is near them that fear him, and that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth has sprung, out of, truth has sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness has looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give what is good, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him and shall set his footsteps in the way. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. Save thy servant, O my God, that hopes in thee. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for unto thee will I cry all the day. Make glad the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and gentle and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear to my prayer, O Lord, and attend to the voice of my supplication. In the day of mine affliction I have cried unto thee, for thou didst hearken unto me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, and there are no works like unto thy works. All the nations thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wonders, thou alone art God. Lead me in thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth. Let my heart be glad that I may fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. I will glorify thy name forever. 
for thy mercy is great toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the nethermost hell. <clears throat> o God, lawless men have risen up against me, and an assembly of mighty men have sought my soul, and have not set thee before them. And thou, O Lord, my God, art compassionate to merciful, long suffering, and plenteous in mercy and true. Look upon me and have mercy on me. Give thy strength to thy servant and save the son of thy handmaid. Work in me a sign for good and let them that hate me see it and be put to shame because thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Work in me a sign for good and let them that hate me see it and be put to shame because thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, ages, amen. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Praise befits the just. Praise the Lord with a harp. Make melody to him upon a psaltery of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play well unto him with a loud voice. For the word of the Lord is upright, and all his works are done in faithfulness. The Lord loves mercy and judgment. The earth is full of the mercy of the Lord. By the word of the Lord were the heavens established, and all the hosts of them by the spirit of his mouth, who gathers the waters of the sea as in a wineskin, who lays up the deeps in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all that dwell in the world be shaken because of him. For he spoke, and they came to be. He commanded, and they were created. The Lord scatters the counsels of the heathen, and rejects the thoughts of the peoples, and sets aside the counsels of princes. But the counsel of the Lord endures forever, the thoughts of his heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looked down from heaven, he beheld all the sons of men. For from his habitation which he has prepared, he looked down upon all the inhabitants of the earth, who alone fashion their hearts, who understands all their works. A king is not saved by his great army, and a giant shall not be saved by his great strength. Vain is the horse... Of, for salvation and by its great might it cannot save behold the eyes of the lord are upon those that fear him upon those that hope in his mercy to deliver their souls from death and to nourish them in famine our soul waits for the lord for he is our helper and defender for our heart shall be glad in him and we have hoped in his holy name let thy mercy o lord be upon us as we have set our hope on thee I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. In the Lord shall my soul be praised. Let the meek hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all mine afflictions. Come unto him and be enlightened and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his afflictions. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about those that fear him and shall deliver them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who, that hope is in the Lord. O oh, fear the Lord, all ye his saints, for those that fear him have not, no want. Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord, who is the man that desires life, who loves to see good days. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Turn not away from evil and do good. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their supplication. But the face of the Lord is against those that do evil, utterly to destroy their memory from the earth. The righteous cried, and the Lord heard them and delivered them out of all their afflictions. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and will, have, and will save the humble in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of, out of them all. The Lord keeps all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. The death of sinners is evil, and they that have, hate righteousness will go astray. The Lord will redeem the souls of his servants, and none of them shall go astray that hope in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Judge them, O Lord, that do me wrong. Fight against those that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and arise for my help. Draw out the sword and shut the way against those that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek my soul. Let them be turned back and utterly put to shame that devise evils against me. Let them be as dust in the face of the wind, an angel of the Lord also afflicting them. Let their way be dark and slippery, an angel of the Lord also pursuing them. For without cause have they hid their snare for my destruction. Without cause have they reproached my soul. Let a snare come upon him unawares, and let him be caught in the trap that he hid. And into the same snare shall he fall. But my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, it shall delight in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, O Lord, who is like unto thee, delivering the poor man from the hand of those that are stronger than he, and the poor and needy man from those that despoil him. Unjust witnesses rose up against me and asked me of things which I knew not. They rewarded me wicked things for good and barrenness for my soul. But as for me, when they troubled me, I put on sackcloth and humbled my soul with fasting, and my prayer shall return to my bosom. As with a neighbor, as with our brother, so was I well pleasing. As one mourning and sad of countenance, so did I humble myself. And they were glad and gathered together, and scourges were gathered against me, and I knew it not. They were divided, and yet not pricked in their heart. They tempted me, they mocked me with contempt, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, when wilt thou look upon me, restore my soul from their evil doing, mine only begotten from the loins, from the lions. I will confess thee in the great church. I will praise thee among a mighty people. Let not mine enemies rejoice over me unjustly. They that hate me without a cause and wink with their eyes, for they spoke peaceful things to me and devised deceits in their wrath, and they opened their mouth wide against me. They said, Well done, well done, our eyes have seen it. Thou hast seen, O Lord, be not silent, O Lord, depart not from me. Rise up, O Lord, and attend unto my judgment, unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness, O Lord, my God, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, well done, well done, our soul, and let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let those that rejoice over my troubles be ashamed and confounded at once. Let them be clothed with shame and confusion that speak boastful words against me. Let them rejoice and be glad that desire my righteousness, and let the, those that desire the peace of his servant say continually, The Lord be magnified, and my tongue shall meditate uh, upon thy righteousness, upon thy praise all the day long. Thy transgressor that he may sin, saith, saith within himself, that there is no fear of God before his eyes, for he is dealt deceitfully before him, lest he finds his iniquity and hate it. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He was not willing to understand how to do good. He devises iniquity upon his bed. He has set himself in every way that is not good, and he abhorred not evil. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in heaven, and thy truth reaches unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the mountains of God. Thy judgments are like a deep, a great deep. O Lord, thou wilt save both men and beasts. O how thou hast multiplied thy mercy, O God, that children of men shall hope in the shelter of thy wings. They shall be drunk with the fatness of thy house, and thou shalt make them drink of the torrent of thy delight. For with thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto those that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the sinner move me. There have they fallen all that work iniquity. They are cast out and shall not be able to stand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to Thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be withered like the grass, and shall fall away as the green herb. Hope in the Lord, and do good, and dwell in the land, that thou shalt be fed by its riches. Delight in the Lord, and he shall give thee the requests of thy heart. Disclose thy way unto the Lord, and hope in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Submit to the Lord, and supplicate him. Fret not thyself because of him, and that that prospers in his way because of the man who commits transgressions. Cease from wrath and forsake. 
and forsake anger. Fret not thyself so as to do evil, for evildoers shall be utterly destroyed. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the sinner shall not be. Yea, though thou shalt seek for his place, and shalt not find it. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight in an abundance of peace. The sinner shall lie in wait for the just, and gnash upon him with his teeth. But the Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day shall come. The sinners have drawn out the sword. They have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy to slay the upright in heart. Let their sword enter their own heart and let their bows be broken. Better is the little that the the righteous has than the great riches of sinners. For the arms of the sinners shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the blameless and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in an evil time and in days of famine they shall be satisfied. For the sinners shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, as soon as they are glorified and exalted, shall vanish as smoke vanishes. The sinner borrows and will not pay again, but the righteous shows compassion and gives. For they that bless him shall inherit the earth, but they that curse him shall be utterly destroyed. The steps of a man are ordered by the Lord, and he shall greatly desire his way. When he falls, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord supports his hand. I have been young, and now indeed am old, yet I have not been the seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. The righteous shows mercy and lends all the day long, and his seed shall be for a blessing. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. The Lord loves judgment and will not forsake his saints. They shall be preserved forever, but the iniquity shall be driven out, and the seed of the ungodly shall be utterly destroyed. But the righteous shall inherit the earth and shall dwell therein forever. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps shall not be tripped. The sinner watches the righteous and seeks to slay him, but the Lord will not leave him in his hands, nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the earth. When the wicked are utterly destroyed, thou shalt see it. I have seen the ungodly highly exalted and lifted up like the cedars of Lebanon. Yet I passed by, and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but his place was not found. Keep innocence and behold uprightness, for there is a remnant for the peaceable man. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together, the remnants of the ungodly shall be destroyed. But the salvation of the righteous is is of the Lord, and he is their defender in the time of affliction. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. Yea, he shall rescue them from sinners and save them, for they have placed their hope on him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Now we have our power, saying this taste death in the flesh, put to death the pride of our flesh, O Christ our God, and save us. Standing according to thy word. For Satan sees death in the flesh, put to death the pride of our flesh, O Christ our God, and save us. Let my supplication come before thee, O Lord, deliver me according to thy word. Son and to the Holy Spirit. Of ages, Amen. Thou who for our sake was born of a virgin and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death through death, and as God didst reveal the resurrection, despise not those whom thou hast created with thine own hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us, and save thy despairing people, O our Savior. Deliver us not up utterly for thy holy name's sake, neither annul thou thy covenant, and cause not thy mercy to depart from us. For Abraham's sake, thy beloved, for Isaac's sake, thy servant, and for Israel's, thy holy one. (coughs) Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. When the thief beheld the author of life hanging upon the cross, he said, If it were not God made flesh that is crucified with us, the sun would not have hit its rays, nor would the earth have quaked and trembled. But all forbearing, Lord, remember me in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the midst... In the midst between the two thieves, that cross became a balanced beam of righteousness. For the one was carried down to hell by the burden of his blasphemy. The other was lightened of his sins and brought to the knowledge of God. O Christ, our God, glory to thee. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. When she who bore him saw upon the cross the lamb and shepherd and savior of the world, she said, weeping, the world rejoices for it receives deliverance. But inwardly I burn, seeing thy crucifixion, which, which thou sufferest for all men, O my Son and God. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who call us all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. <clears throat> In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. <coughs> Amen. Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. Give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. O Master and Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who art long suffering towards our faults, and has brought us even unto this present hour in which, hanging upon the life giving cross, thou was open unto the good thief the way into paradise and destroyed death by death. Be merciful to us, thy sinful and unworthy servants, for we have sinned and transgressed, and we are not worthy to lift up our eyes and look at the height of heaven, since we have forsaken the path of thy righteousness and have walked according to the desires of our own hearts. But we pray thee of thy boundless goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the abundance of thy mercy, and save us for thy holy name's sake. Pluck us, for our days have been consumed in vanity. Pluck us from the hand of the adversary. Forgive us our sins and kill our fleshly lusts, that putting off the old men we may put on the new and may live for thee, our master and guardian, so that following thine ordinances we may attain to eternal rest in the place where all the joyful dwell. For thou, O Christ our God, art indeed the true joy and gladness of those that love thee, and to thee we send up glory, together with the Father who is without beginning, and thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now endeavored unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest 
in thy kingdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when thou comest in thy kingdom. In thy kingdom. The heavenly choir sings my praises, saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings thy praises, saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels, with all the powers of heaven, sings thy praises, saying, Holy, 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 Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, committed in word or deed, thought or intention, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or by night. Forgive us everything, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of Asia. Amen. On the mountain was thou transfigured, O Christ God, and thy disciples beheld thy glory as far as they could see it so that when they shouldn't behold thee crucified, they would understand that thy suffering was voluntary and would proclaim to the world that thou art truly the radiance of the Father. As thou was voluntarily crucified for our sake, grant mercy to those who are called by thy name, O Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. The Apostle's successor, adornment of the hierarchy, teacher of the Orthodox Church, pray to the Master of all, grant peace to the world, and grant mercies to our soul. You openly disdain the pleasure of earthly and corruptible things, choosing instead a life in the desert. You despise the beautiful things of this world, together with the food that passes away. Therefore, all blessed ones, you were counted worthy of the kingdom of heaven, where you rejoice with the choirs of martyrs and ascetics, As we honor your memory, we earnestly cry out to you, deliver us, O fathers, from tribulations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the saints, grant rest, O Christ, to the souls of thy servants, where sickness and sorrow are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Steadfast protectors of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou art, thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. God be bountiful unto us, and blessed to shine the light of thy countenance upon us, and have mercy upon all. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. Give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Ye, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed are thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Master of my life, give me not a spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. We give rather a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed are thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. 
all holy trinity, the consubstantial might, the indivisible kingdom, and cause of every good. Show thy good will even unto me, the sinner. Make steadfast my heart and granted understanding. Take away mine every defilement. Enlighten my mind that I may glorify him, worship, and say, One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art greatly magnified. Thou art clothed with praise and majesty, covering thyself with light as with a garment, spreading out the heaven as a curtain, who covers his upper chambers with waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the winds, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who established the earth on its sure foundation, it shall not be moved forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his cloak, the waters shall stand upon the mountains. At thy rebuke they shall flee at the voice of thy thunder, they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound which they shall not pass, neither shall they return to cover the earth. Thou sendest forth springs in the valleys, the waters shall flow between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. By them shall the birds of the heaven dwell. They shall sing from amidst the rocks. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He makes grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth and wine makes glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There the sparrows will build their nests, and the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are for the deer, and the rock is a refuge for the hares. He made the moon for the seasons, the sun knows it's going down. Thou didst appoint darkness, and it was night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will prowl. Young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun arose, and they were gathered together, and shall lie down in their dens. Man shall go forth to his work and to his labor unto the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. 
The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships, there this dragon, whom thou hast formed to play therein. All things wait upon thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest to them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, they shall all be filled with good. But when thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take away their spirit, and they shall die and return to their dust. Thou shalt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and makes it to tremble? Who touches the mountains and they smoke? I will sing to the Lord while I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knows it's going down. Thou didst appoint darkness, and it was night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of our love and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. House and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, our commander at Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for this village, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To <coughs> thee, the earth, to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In mine affliction I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. O Lord, deliver my soul from unjust lips and from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given unto thee, and what shall be added unto thee for thy deceitful tongue? The sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of the desert. Woe is me, for my sojourn is prolonged. I have dwelt among the tents of Kedar. My soul has long been a sojourner. With them that hate peace I was peaceful. When I spoke unto them, they warred against me without a cause. <clears throat> I lifted up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let not thy foot be moved, and may he that keeps thee not slumber. Behold, he that keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep thee, the Lord is thy shelter on thy right hand. The sun shall not burn thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil. The Lord shall keep thy soul. 
the Lord shall keep thy coming in and thy going out from henceforth and forevermore. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet were standing in thy courts, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. For there the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, as a testimony for Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones for judgment, thrones for the house of David. Pray now for the peace of Jerusalem and prosperity for them that love thee. Let peace now be in thy strength and prosperity in thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sake, I spoke peace concerning thee. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I have sought good things for thee. Unto thee have I lifted up mine eyes, O thou that dwellest in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the handmaid look unto the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look unto the Lord our God until he have compassion on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul has been exceedingly filled, a reproach to them them that prosper, and contempt unto the proud. If the Lord had been not with us, let Israel now say, If the Lord had not been with us, what men rose up against us? Then they would have swallowed us up alive. When their anger was kindled against us, then the water would have drowned us. Our soul would have passed through the torrent. Then our soul would have passed through the overwhelming water. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. Our soul, like a sparrow, was set free from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are set free. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion. He that dwells in Jerusalem shall never be moved. Mountains are round about her, and the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and forevermore. For the Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous should stretch forth their hands unto iniquities. Do good, O Lord, to those that are good and to those that are upright of heart. But those that turn aside into crooked ways, the Lord will lead away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord turned back the captivity of Zion, we became like them that are comforted. Then was our mouth filled with joy and our tongue with rejoicing. Then shall they say among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are become glad. Turn back our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They went forth and wept as they cast their seeds, but they shall return with rejoicing, bringing their sheaves. Unless the Lord builds builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. It is vain for you to rise early, to arise after resting. Ye that eat the bread of sorrow when he gives his beloved sheep. Lo, sons are the heritage of the Lord, the fruit of the womb of a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are the sons of those that were outcasts. Blessed is the man who shall fulfill his desire with them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak with their enemy in the gates. Blessed are they that fear the Lord, that walk in his ways. They shall eat the fruit of thy labors. Blessed art thou, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine at the si- on the sides of thy house, thy children as young olive shoots around thy table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed that fears the Lord. May the Lord bless thee out of Zion, and mayest thou see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of thy life, and mayest thou see thy children's children. Peace be upon Israel. 
Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many a time have they warred against me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The sinners blotted behind, plotted behind my back, they prolonged their iniquity. The Lord is righteous, he has cut asunder the necks of sinners. That let them all be put to shame and turn back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass upon the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up, with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the binder of sheaves his bosom. Neither do they pass by, say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you. We have blessed you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thou but save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If thou, Lord, wilt mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand, for with thee is forgiveness. For thy name's sake have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor mine eyes lofty, neither have I walked in things too great or too marvelous for me. If I were not humble-minded, but had exalted my soul as a child weaned from his mother, so wouldst thou reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Lord, remember David and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord and vowed to the God of Jacob, I will not go into the tabernacle of my house, I will not climb up to the couch of my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes, nor slumber to mine eyelids, nor rest to my temples, until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it at Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of the wood. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet have stood. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy holiness. Thy priests shall be clothed with righteousness, and thy saints shall rejoice. For thy servant David's sake, turn not away the face of thy Christ. The Lord has sworn in truth unto David, and will not annul it. Of the fruit of thy loins will I set upon my throne. Of thy sons will I keep my covenant and my testimonies which I shall teach them. Their sons shall also sit upon thy throne forevermore. For the Lord has elected Zion. He has chosen her as a habitation for himself. This is my rest forever and ever. Here will I dwell, for I have chosen her. I will abundantly bless her gate. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priest with salvation, and her saint shall greatly rejoice. There will I make a horn to spring up for David. I have prepared a lamp for my Christ. His enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon himself shall my sanctification flourish. Behold now what is so good or so pleasant as for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like oil upon the head, which runs down upon the beard, the beard of Aaron, which runs down to the hem of his garment. It is like the dew of Hermon, which comes down upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing life forevermore. Behold now, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands by night in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless thee out of Zion, he that made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, and most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Lord, our God, a merciful and saving God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the eighth tone, Lord, I call upon thee, hear me. My soul out of prison that I may confess thy name. While fasting with the body, brethren, let us also fast in spirit. Let us lose every bond of iniquity. Let us undo the knots of every contract made by violence. Let us tear up all the just agreements. Let us give bread to the The righteous shall await me until thou shalt reward me. Unto thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, rightly are these things ascribed to the saints. They bow their necks beneath the sword. For thy sake, who has bowed the heavens and come down, they shed their blood for thee. Who has emptied thyself and taken the form of a servant? They humbled themselves even unto death, following the example of thy poverty. At their prayers have mercy upon us, O God, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy. In the second tone, let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Jesus, the true spiritual Son, sent you out as lightning into all the world, and by the brightness of your divine preaching, for ye apostles and eyewitnesses of God, he has dispersed the darkness of error and given light to those who pass in the evil gloom of ignorance. Entreat him to send down upon us also his illumination and great mercy. If thou, O Lord, wilt not mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand for with thee is forgiveness. Elijah, glorified by fasting, rode in the divine chariot of the virtues, and was carried up to the height of heaven. Eagerly follow his example, O my humble soul, and pass from 
of every evil, from any strife and passing pleasure. So shalt thou escape the harsh and everlasting agony of Gehenna, crying out to Christ, glory to thee, O Lord. In the fifth tone, for thy name's sake, have I waited for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for thy word. My soul has hoped in the Lord. Apostles of God, ferment intercessors for the world, defenders of the orthodox, ye who have the power to draw near with boldness unto Christ our God, we beseech you intercede on our behalf, that unhindered we may keep the holy season of the fast, and receive the grace of the consubstantial trinity. O great and glorious preachers worthy of all reverence, pray for our souls. In the fourth tone, from the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Desiring good repute which is eternal, and in no wise passeth away, Thou didst disdain glory, which is transitory and perishable. And taking up thy cross, thou didst follow after the crucified one. And didst make thy flesh submit thy feet of fasting. Wherefore we celebrate thy memory, O James. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. Desiring good repute which is eternal, and in no wise passeth away, thou didst disdain glory which is transitory and perishable, and taking up thy cross thou didst follow after the crucified one, and didst make thy flesh submit thy feet of fasting. Wherefore we celebrate thy memory, O Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye peoples. Crucified to the world and the passions, O Father James. Thou hast preserved thy soul undefiled and pure, untainted by base desires, taking wing to the heavens in mystic visions. Therein, as a true friend of Christ, as a most faithful favorite, now is set forth thy life, O venerable Lord. For his mercy has prevailed over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Innocent, guileless, merciful, and full of brotherly love, humble-minded and meek, full of love, adorned with almsgiving, gifted with patience, tempered with faith and hope, Ornamented with prayer and shining sacredly with divine splendors, was thou shown to be O ever memorable one. Glory now and ever in the same tone, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Take away the defilement of my passionate heart. O most entheotokos, cleanse thou all the wounds and defilement thereof, which cometh from sin, O pure one, and of the wavering of my mind, that I, thy wretched and unprofitable servant, may magnify thy Stand upright, O glass of light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed, O Thank you. 
according to its kind, quadrupeds and reptiles and wild beasts of the earth according to their kind. And it was so, and God made the wild beasts of the earth according to their kind, and cattle according to their kind, and all the reptiles of the earth according to their kind. And God saw that they were good, and God said, Let us make man according to our image and likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the flying creatures of heaven and over the cattle and all the earth, and over all the reptiles that creep on the earth. And God made man according to the image of God. He made him, male and female, he made them. And God blessed them, saying, Increase and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the seas and flying creatures of heaven, and all the cattle and the earth, and all the reptiles that creep on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given to you every seed-bearing herb, sowing seed which is upon all the earth, and every tree which has in itself the fruit of seed that is sown, to you it shall be for food, and to all the wild beasts of the earth, and to all the flying creatures of heaven, and to every reptile creeping on the earth which has in itself the breath of life, even every green plant for food, and it was so. And God saw all the things that he had made, and behold, they were very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day, and the heavens and the earth were finished, and the whole world of them. And God finished on the sixth day his works which he made, and he ceased on the seventh day from all his works which he made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he ceased from all his works which God began to do. commandment and hide it with thee thine ear shall hearken to wisdom thou shalt also apply thine heart to understanding and shalt apply it to the instruction of thy son for if thou shalt call to wisdom and utter thy voice for understanding and if thou shalt seek it as silver and search diligently for it as for treasures then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God for the Lord gives wisdom and from his presence come knowledge and understanding and he treasures up salvation for them that walk uprightly. He will protect their way that he may guard the righteous way, and he will preserve the way of them that fear him. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment, and shall direct all thy course aright. 
For if wisdom shall come into thine understanding, and discernment shall seem pleasing to thy soul, good counsel shall guard thee, and holy understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the evil way, and from the man that speaks nothing faithfully. Alas for those who forsake right paths, to walk in ways of darkness, who rejoice in evils, and delight in wicked perverseness, whose paths are crooked and their courses winding, to remove thee far from the straight way, and to estrange thee from a righteous purpose. My son, let not evil counsel overtake thee of her who has forsaken the instruction of her youth and forgotten the covenant of God. For she has fixed her house near death and guided her wheels near Hades with the giants. None that go by her shall return, neither shall they take hold of right paths. For they are not apprehended of the years of life. For, they, for had they gone in good paths, they would have found the paths of righteousness easy. For the upright shall dwell in the earth, and the holy shall be left behind in it. The paths of the ungodly shall perish out of the earth, and transgressors shall be driven away from it.
sloth to spare, lust for power, and idle talk. We give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou as the ages of ages. Amen. all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikhon, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, our commandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable holy orthodox patriarchs, and for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of this holy habitation, for the newly departed patriarch Neophyte, Mother Anna, Matushka, Elizabeth, Presbyteria, Constantina, Timothy, Doria, Michael, Marianne, Nathan, Nasimina, Peter, Curtis, Evelyn, Elizabeth, Michael, Larissa, and the mitered Archpriest Anthony, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who herein and all the world lay asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation to the servants of God, Metropolitan Tikhon, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, Bishop Alexei, Archimandrite Sergius and Gabriel, Egumens, Leontie, and Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, Alexander, Daniel, John, and John, Hiram, Monk, and Akenti, Priest Ignatius, Vincent, Michael, Paul, and Michael, Hierodeacon, David, Monks Nicodemus, and Kirill, Rossifor, Monks Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael, for Novsis, Andrew, Jeremiah, and Pontelaman, for Noah and Zachary, for Subdeacon Martin, readers John, Hezekias, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Nun, Ioana, Rasvor, Nun, and Euphria, Matushkas, Kathy, Jeanette, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Abigail, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Anastasia, and Rachel, for Mary, Judith, Ann, Patrick, Maria, Xenia, John, Anastasia, Eugene, Christopher, John, Anton, Katrina, Matthew, Matthew, Mi Mickey, Jim, Eric, Earl, Michael, and John, for Jerusalem, Agonia, David, Mark, Olga, William, Kathleen, Natalia, Anne, Christine, Daniel, Elena, <coughs> Sue, Samuel, Ekaterina, Derek, Cynthia, Mary, Jacob, Michael, Deborah, Diane, Tom, Nima, Father Raphael, Michael, Peter, Andrew, Vincent, George, Marilyn, Rachel, Korea, Martha, Constantine, Gordon, Scott, Brian, <coughs> Patrick, Matushka, Nadia, Igor, Vasily, Jonah, <coughs> Nadezhda, Ogeria, Lydia, Romana, Ken, Vasilia, Alexandra, Carolyn, Gabriella, Robert, Alexandra, Allison, Gabriella, John, Stephen, Jennifer, Victor, Larissa, Archpriest Thomas, Diane, Dean, Luke, Katrina, David, Damian, Angela, Archpriest Stephen, Don, Samuel, Theodore, Elizabeth, Colleen, Gab Gabriella, Ekaterina, Hannah, Andrew, Jonathan, Samuel, Matthew, Matushka, Christina, Emma, Kevin, Angela, Mary, Martha, Wyatt, Fareed, Dan, Christina, Timothy, John, Kevin, Nathan, Lawrence, Esther, Joseph, John, Joseph, for all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Thou art merciful, God, amongst mankind, thee to be sent.
but glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, you catechumens. Lord, have mercy. And as the faithful pray for the catechumens, that the Lord may have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. And may teach them the word of truth. Gospel of righteousness. Lord, Let him unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord, Save them, have, have mercy on them, help them, and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. Thus I also may glorify then all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let no catechumen remain. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Through the gift of thy Christ, with whom thou art blessed together with thine all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
despair, lust for power, and idle talk. We give out a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Dear Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. a sweet spiritual, sweet spiritual fragrance will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. May be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Lord, in remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. For the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee be our Lord. Be us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation may dare to call thee the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father.
for he has been glorified. Create in me clean, heart of God, renew a right spirit within me. O compassionate Lord, let thy holy body be thy, be thy precious blood for me, the bread of life, life for lasting, healing me of manifold afflictions. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Make me worthy to partake of thy most pure body, and thy divine blood, O Christ. For I am wretched and unworthy, defiled by unseemly deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O bounteous land, O blessed bride of God, though unsown, thou dost bear the ear of grain that saves the world. Grant that I may eat of it, and find salvation. Thou hast established me on the rock of faith, Thou hast opened wide my mouth against mine enemies, for my spirit rejoices in singing. None is holy but our God, and none is righteous but Thou, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me flowing tears, O Master Christ, to wash the filth from my heart. In good conscience, purified, let me come with faith and fear to commune with Thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from Thy presence, and take not Thy Holy Spirit from me. Let Thy most pure body and Thy divine blood be the remission of my sins, O lover of men unto the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, life everlasting, and estrangement from passions and sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy table of the heavenly bread that came down from on high for the sake of his mercy toward us, giving new life to the world, though I am unworthy, grant me now to taste of him in fear and to live. That has come from a virgin, not as an ambassador nor an angel, but the Lord himself incarnate, and thou didst save me, the whole man. Therefore I cry out to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. <clears throat> Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Made flesh for our sake, thou didst will to be slaughtered like a sheep on the count of the sins of man, O Lord, extreme in mercy. I therefore pray thee, cleanse my iniquities as well. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Lord and Master, and sanctify me fully. I am a wretch, but grant that I may partake of thy divine and mystical supper. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. One there is who came from thy womb, O Lady, incline toward me his mercy. I am thy servant, keep me undefiled and without stain, so that I may be sanctified, receiving the spiritual pearl. O Lord, bestower of light and maker of the agents, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God save thee. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. As thou dost foretell, O Christ, so may it come to pass for thy poor servant. Abide in me as thou dost promise, for behold, I eat thy flesh and drink thy blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O God, thou word of God, may the glowing coal of thy body bring light to my gloom, and my, may thy blood bring purity to my defiled soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, Mother of God, the precious dwelling of fragrance, by thy prayers make me a chosen vessel, that I may partake of the sacred things of thy Son. World about in the abyss of sins, I call on the unfathomable abyss of thy compassion. Lead me up out of corruption, O God. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Sanctify my mind, my soul, and heart, O Master and Savior, and my body as well. Grant that, without condemnation, I may approach the dread mysteries. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Estrange me from the passions, O Christ. Join me to thy grace, and confirm me in life through the communion of thy holy mysteries. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, Holy Word of God, through the prayers of thy Holy Mother, sanctify the whole of me as I approach thy divine mysteries. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto <coughs> ages of ages. Amen. Do not judge me unworthy to receive at this time thy body and thy divine blood, O Master Christ. Wretch that I am, may the communion of thy most pure and dread mysteries be not unto my condemnation, be it rather unto immortal and everlasting life. The wise children refused to serve a statue made of gold and went themselves into the flame. They mocked the foreign gods as they cried out from the midst of the flame and the angels sprinkled them with dew, saying, The prayer of your lips has been heard. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. May the communion of thine immortal mysteries be for me now a fountain of blessings. 
May it be for me light and life in this passion. May it lead to my success and growth in divine virtue, that I may glorify thee, O Christ, who alone art good. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. I draw near to thy divine and immortal mysteries with love and trembling and reverence. May I be delivered from passions, enemies, want, and every sorrow, and grant that I may sing to thee, Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou art full of God's grace, and didst bear Christ the Savior in a manner past understanding. And I, thy servant, pray to thee, the impure, praying to the pure. Cleanse me from all defilement of flesh and spirit, for I wish now to draw near to the most pure mysteries. The God who came down to the children of the Hebrews in the fiery furnace, who transformed the flame into dew, do all ye works praise his Lord, and exalt above all forever. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Christ, my God and Savior, allow me, even my present despair, to be a partaker of the heavenly, fearful, and holy mysteries of thy divine and mystical supper. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Running to take shelter beneath thy kindness, I cry to thee in fear. Abide in me, O good Savior, and I shall abide in thee, just as thou didst say. Behold, emboldened by thy mercy, I eat thy body and drink thy blood. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Partaking of fire, I tremble with fear, lest I be consumed like wax or straw. O fearful mystery, O kindness of God, I am clay. How can, can I commune of the divine body and blood and become incorruptible? The Son of the Father without beginning, God the Lord, has appeared to us, made it flesh of a virgin, to give light to what is darkened and to gather together what is scattered. Therefore we magnify the all praise Theotokos. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. <coughs> Taste and see that this is Christ, the Lord who of old became like us, who once and for all offered himself as an offering to his Father. Ever he is slaughtered for the sanctification of them that partake. <clears throat> Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. May I be sanctified in soul and body. May I be enlightened. May I be saved. May I become thy house through the communion of the sacred mysteries, having thee dwelling within me, together with the Father and the Spirit. O Master, my most merciful benefactor, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May thy body, O my Savior, and thy most precious blood be to me as fire and light, consuming my sinful matter, burning up the thorns of, my, of passions, and fully enlightening me to worship thy divinity. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. God took flesh of thy most pure blood, O Theotokos. Therefore, every generation hymns thee, and multitudes of noetic beings give thee glory. For through thee have we beheld the ruler of all become truly man.
Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the Holy King may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our lives. Unto Christ, our Lord. Partaker of thy holy things, I thank thee for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and give us these dread and life giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserve by them in thy holiness. May I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. 
enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good, and to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. For thee thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings, make firm my joints and bones, and illumine my five senses, nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty and understanding and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as if they come thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me, thy servant, a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, do we stand up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theodokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the, under the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me who am dead and by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release for the slavery of mine own reasonings. And make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all, day, all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast repaired before the face of all people a light to enlighten the Gentiles in the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Glory to the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Endowed by God with grace, divine grace from on high, of glorious Gregory, and fortified by his power, that is, will to walk according to the gospel. Wherefore, thou hast received from Christ the reward of thy labors, O blessed Father, and treat him to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast shown thyself to be an emulator of Christ, the chief shepherd, O Father Gregory, guided ranks amongst into the heavenly sheepfold, from whence thou hast taught Christ's commandments to his flock. And now thou dost rejoice with them and dance in the heaven, mansions of heaven. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator. Despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. Truth that Dorcos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Christ, the true Christ, the Spirit, the most pure Mother of our venerable and God, great Father, Son of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Thank you. 